All right, we're back, baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're out here, LA. We're looking clean. We got the Indian motorcycle shirt on. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. So, um, look, guys. We got a lot of moves going on. So, I know a lot of y'all gonna be salty. Got to show y'all the latest fantasy whip. Fantasy whip. Fantasy whip. We want that right there. That's suburban. That's what we want. Okay. We're gonna get it. So let me explain to you guys a little something, 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 okay? We're trying to, as of today, as of today, the I think today is the 22nd, maybe? I don't know what today is. Let me look, hold on, look, sorry, why am I throwing it off here? Okay, today's the 22nd. We have nine days left at the apartment, and then I have eight days left in California after that. So I got 17 total days and the goal in these 17 total days is to make, give or take 17 days, okay, $4,000. I wanna make $4,000. Now, this $4,000 is to come from selling that um, couch, the TV, the little things in the apartment. I might ship the desk. Then it's gonna come from working, grinding all day, nonstop, okay? We're looking to make $4,000. And we're gonna add that with the insurance payout. So we're gonna be at just enough money to um, have cushion, okay? Have cushion for Wilmington. Now, uh, on, in other news, I found the place, as I told y'all, a week ago, and I already paid the deposit, everything, application fee. I had to pay everything to move in. Application fee, um, uh, it was a security deposit, of course, first month, and then it was a, I forgot, administration fee, okay? It came out to 2847 and change, okay? Paid that already. But then, I went down and paid that next day, uh, I left my son on a way to, you know, taking him to his appointment before I headed on the road. He's like, why don't you move across the street from my mom's house? And I'm like, um, why didn't you tell me this like beforehand? And then sure enough, he didn't tell me and the place that he wants me to move is only $900 a month. It's a loft style, one bedroom apartment pretty much. It's nice, I like it. It's dated, but it's still nice for what I need, but it's $900 compared to the 1250 that I'm paying at the new place and add 1250 or yeah 1250 plus the um, parking which is $100. So I would save almost 450 moving to this new place because it's only electric you got to pay at the new place. So I got that going on. I got to contact the place I already just signed the lease for to try to get them to allow me to break that lease before I move in which is on the 9th. But I think that in the um, lease agreement as long as i don't get the keys technically the lease does not start so i think that i still have time and cushion to break the lease which is what i'm going to do i'm going to look to um, break that lease if i can get approved for this new place the place i'm at right now they actually approved me without putting down any money so i was able to get approved without putting down anything so i was able to let's say putting down anything without putting my proof of income and my um credit score didn't matter even though my credit's good now, I got approved. So that's what we're working on right now, okay? We got that um, apartment already unlocked. So besides that, um, we are in our last days of California and I'm gonna be like a zombie. I'm gonna be working day in and day out. Now, I know y'all wonder why. You got money saved up, you got this, you got that. Guys, it's because of that strategy, I'm not gonna mention again the how to do it, but I gotta have $5,000 in two accounts. I gotta have $10,000 to work with. And then I gotta have, um, you know, enough cushion to get a car when it gets cold. But the good thing about it, if I can get approved for this apartment across the street from my son's house, I'll be able to like do everything there. I can go, we got basketball courts there. I'm probably gonna look to get a, a job at the school, like janitor or something. I don't know, maybe not at his school, but at one of the schools, you know, just a little part-time job. Everything is gonna be perfect. I can get a job at pizza, it's just any of the places around. I can literally stay in that vicinity, okay? And then on top of that, um, I would be able to save a lot of money in gas. Just overall, everything would be great. And then I'll, I'll have plenty of savings for Raleigh. So we are moving. Now, YouTube. I want YouTube to pop. I want YouTube to pop. I'm not trying to be sitting here. Make a, I wanna like get to a point that YouTube is actually fun again for me. You guys are enjoying my channel. And you know, we're in season four right now. 
I believe this is season four. I think my seasons usually go six months and six month increments. And I think as of like, actually, will I be at the two year mark? Yeah, I think I'm at the two year mark right now. Yeah, I think I've been in California for a year and a half. So I think that last month was my two year mark. So, you know, we're, we're moving on YouTube. We're at two year mark. Okay, I didn't do the two year anniversary. I should have did that, but it's all good. Now, besides that, um, I want to make a few things clear. I saw a bunch of people talking. Uh, I'm not going to call out the individuals, but I want to give a shout out. Ski's been on his best behavior. He's been showing love and respect. I want to give that. Next thing I want to say is, I don't want to do drama no more. I don't want to do, I tried to sing that, but it was all bad. It just went bad. Um, I don't want to do drama no more. I want to be at peace. I want to be happy. So I think that um, we got to, we got to order out here. To be drama. Yeah, I don't want to really do drama videos no more. So, you know, I'm moving in a different path on this channel. And I know for a lot of y'all, it ain't going to be as much fun. But, you know, we're going to make it work because I always make it work. I always find out a way, I figure out one way or another how to make my life better. And, you know, with the start of this YouTube channel, uh, you see how fast I got it popping? I can do it again. I can make it happen again. I can kill it again. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm about to actually go to the apartment right now. I'm going to show y'all when I get there because I'm probably going to go live. I'm going to organize my everything I'm gonna like put the clothes that I don't really want and I'm gonna give them to some homeless people I'm gonna like literally go to Skid Row and have them in my back of my um, motorcycle and I'm gonna say hey do you guys want these um, clothes you know I think they would appreciate them more than me taking them to Goodwill and them being lounged out so I'm gonna try to give them away to the people and then um, I gotta list that couch TV and all of that because it's gonna cost me more to ship it and then I add that to my um, bank account and then we gotta patch some walls. I'm gonna do the walls tomorrow. And then we gotta like, you know, just get it ready so that way when it, the first hits, I got the key turned in, they do the inspection, we're good to go. So that's what we're working on the next few days. Football on Saturday. There's gonna be a couple games on Saturday that I'm gonna bet on, football games, college football games. Uh, I might share what I do exactly with that. I might, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to figure out a way to like, um, people that make, make accounts with certain sports books, I allow them to get my picks. We're gonna see about that, okay? I think that that's something we're gonna definitely do. You know, to get entrance into my picks, you gotta get uh, account set up with at least hundred dollars in that account. Um, other than that, guys, you know, there's a lot going on now. I'm gonna tell y'all, California. I don't want to end relationships with people here, but there's a lot of trauma that goes down with me talking about politics and cultural issues to where people out here if you're a conservative your viewpoint is sometimes considered ignorant to where you can't really have your own viewpoint you know people think that you're a bad person you know you're just ignorant so i gotta work on that because i gotta go to counseling i guess for a couple times to see if it's me or if it's the people i don't know maybe it's me maybe i shouldn't be thinking that people can't be two people. Like you can't be a them or they. Maybe I should be more respectful to those people and call them them or they. Maybe I should, you know, be more understanding to people. And I want y'all to understand, I'm not a judgmental person. You know, I don't judge people based on circumstances they are in. Look at what, I, what, what situation I'm in. I don't think I'm better than nobody. It's just sometimes you have a situation that, you know, I talk about criminals, I talk about, you know, people that are just lazy that choose not to help themselves and you know, people get upset like you're judgmental. I'm not judgmental. I'm trying to encourage those people by by giving people a smoke to be better, just like myself. There's a lot I gotta do to be better. I gotta, you know, fix, um, continue fixing my credit. I gotta pay debt. I gotta like, you know, work hard. I gotta like stop jumping on things and jumping off. There's a lot of things I gotta fix. And I am gonna fix these things. But with that said, I all I ask you guys for is patience and, um, a little bit of respect on my name. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just talking. But um, yeah, with that said, you know, there's a lot that we got to talk about when I come back on here because, you know, I don't understand. Y'all put it in the chat below or in the comments below. Why do y'all, why do some of y'all vote for, um, I got food tomorrow. Why do, why do some of y'all vote for Democrats? 
I'm so confused because you got all these people talking. I'm so confused on why do people vote for Democrat? Like, what would be a reason for you to vote Democrat this year? Like, why would you go and vote for Kamala Harris? Like, what does she have to offer? You know, that's what's going to be a question I ask people that be so angry and quick to judge a conservative minded person. And what I mean by conservative minded is somebody that, you know, believe in the values that most conservatives believe in. Why they vote for Trump. I can tell you why I vote for Trump. But I don't understand why some of you guys are backing Kamala, who's not even doing anything for anybody. Um, y'all do the math for me, okay? I, don't, I didn't even try to do math. Y'all do the math. Greg Condon was on doing an interview and he say, stated that, you know, we keep voting as black people. We keep voting for people that aren't trying to... Um, we're not trying to... Pretty much if we... We're, we're voting for people trying to help us, but they're not really trying to help us, with aka Democrats. Like, think about this. He said that for $2.7 trillion, you can give 48 million black Americans, like foundational, you know, like like ones that came and um, just um, descended from slavery, you can give them all $300,000, okay? So you can give, you know, the blacks um, $300,000 to, you know, do whatever with, buy a house, farmland, you know, like put themselves in position and not need to work for the rest of their life, but also, but also at the same time produce by having farmland produce and actually, you know, help the country, not just take the money and blow it at the casino, like I would have done years ago, or, you know, blow it on whatever. But even if you do blow it, it's your choice. It's your right. Because if we're sending billions of dollars to these other countries, why can't they do that to, for us? And Biden and Harris, they can do that. They could have done that for us, but they didn't do it for us. They chose to get the money to other, you know, things that weren't really um, just but I'm not gonna get too much into that. I just wanted to throw a little bit at y'all. I want to give y'all a little bit to think about. So I want y'all to like, let me know what y'all think about those three questions that I hit y'all with. Um, do you think that you sh I should go to counseling for my conservative mind in regards to like the way I treat liberals to be okay with the liberal? Also, what has Harris done for you guys that would make you vote for her? And then, do you think that the government should print $2.7 trillion to get $300,000 to 48 million black Americans. That math seems off. I didn't even try to calculate that. That just seems off. I mean, maybe he's right. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But I'm going to be back with another video. I just want to give y'all a little something to warm up with, okay? It's um dashing my way out of LA. Episode 1. Shout out to Meaty Mama and... um. Mushi Moo, who I took the concept off of. He took the concept off of Meaty Mama. I took the concept off of, I mean, off of him, but he took it off Meaty Mama. So yeah, we're dashing our way out of LA. That's all I got. Uh, we're, all, we're about the money. So I'm trying to get money by any means possible to ultimately get back to Wilmington, save a $30,000 to open up a business, to not have to do gig work again. So we're, da we're dashing ourselves out of gig work for the most part. So with that said, I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys soon. Um, let me give y'all a picture of India shirt on. I had to take a quick picture real quick for the thumbnail. So, we we'll have to look at this beautiful suburban here. That could be me soon. That could be me soon. It's college football starting, so you know you got the money coming in soon. Um, any of y'all want to invest also, um, you can invest. Now, mind you, the way it works, I'm going to let you know in advance, the way it works with investing, because this is not anything. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not anything. If you lose, you lose. This is how it works. Anybody that wants to invest is going to start with a Thursday. Thursday, give me, I'll tell you what my bankroll is. Say I start off with $2,000. Then say you put up $100. That means that you get 5% of winnings, okay? Period. You get 5% of winnings. So what happens is, say I put up, you know, I say Thursday, I'm putting up $2,000. Y'all going to see the account because I'm going to take screenshots. Every single bet I make, I'm going to put the bet before the, the, the game even, you know, before the bet changes. I'm going to put the bet on a special discord that's going to be accessible by all of you that invest okay so if you put a hundred dollars in and i'm starting with two thousand dollars that means your hundred dollar investment equals five percent okay so that means that if you have say ten people put a hundred dollars in each that's a thousand dollars that means we will have three thousand dollar bankroll that means that you have my son calling me hold on one second guys
Hold on one second. Phone in, my phone didn't answer. I don't know why. Phone didn't answer. Let's call him back here real quick. See if he answers the phone. There we go. Oh God, looking like a. Uh, I'm not gonna say what. What you, you looking like a black mama? A black mama. Mama, with the bonnet on. <laughs> go ahead and say say hi to say hi to the YouTube people. What's up? What you up to? I was gonna tell you that I am, I've, I'm screwing, I'm screwing up, okay? When it, in regards to fatherhood, I'm screwing up. Cause you gotta remember, Aiden, I, you're just like me, and I know you want to know the game. And you know, there's a show called Power. Nothing, to, nothing to you, but like the dad is a drug dealer, okay? And the son becomes corrupted on the show to where he wants to learn the game of being a drug dealer, and the dad won't teach him because he doesn't want to be that. Now, mind you. You're not, of course, I'm not a drug dealer. You're not gonna be selling drugs. But when it comes to marketing, when it comes to image, uh, you know, pretty much building an image, creating an image, you know, building, building a brand, I can teach you how to do all that stuff. But you gotta be willing to um, accept it for what it is. For example, you know, your website you created, you gotta be willing to understand that, like I told you before, you gotta have a name behind it. You just can't have a store and say, hey, come to my store, you gotta like, you know, buy some of the product, do videos on the product, become a characterization based around your channel. So with that said, what you need to do, what we need to do is, um, what are you trying to exactly do with your, um, with YouTube? You're trying to do it for your, your store. Like, how are you trying to do YouTube? about to play video games and have a webcam on here. Okay, so I'm gonna, you're gonna have to just, we're gonna have to take time and you have to get your notebook. You have to take notes like you did before and you see how your store numbers jumped the day after you took notes and you changed things that I told you to change, your numbers jumped immediately. So we can do the same thing. Let me get, let me pause my own. All right, that was a call for my son. So now we're about to go do this order. We got to order for six dollars, and we're gonna head to the apartment, and I'm gonna go and record another video for y'all. That would be a lot better than this video. This next video is gonna be more concise plans. But with that said, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. That's all, guy. I look crazy, but I'm out. Peace.